This is gonna be real quick. I have been playing with this filter dynamic array formula some more, found something cool, but I have a haircut and a beard trim appointment in 45 minutes. My beard is starting to look like a possum. So I figured I'm gonna stop, show you this, crank this video out, let's get to it. I was wondering about with the filters, what happens if you want to filter by multiple criteria but also have an optional criteria? I have all of this source data, people, visits, and categories. Now I want to filter between two numbers but filter optionally for the category. So right now I'm showing everybody with zero visits to 100 visits. So I'm going to change this say to zero to 30 visits and then I'm gonna say just category A. Those are the people in that category. Let's go to 10 to 30, 20 to 30 and then let's look just 20 to 30 everybody no matter the category. How does this work? I'm gonna unhide this and I'm gonna show you here in this section, I've got two dynamic arrays, one with the category and one without. Now you gotta pay attention, especially when I get over to the result, there is something interesting going on. Let's create it. I'm gonna put this right here temporarily, equals filter. This is the array that I want to filter, comma, must include. So I'm going to put a parentheses to start my requirements where the visits range greater than or equal to this number. Close the parentheses, asterisk for and. Open parentheses for my next criteria, C4 through C43, less than or equal to G4. So this is where I don't want to put in a category. And then, comma, what if the set is empty? Then I want to have it say nobody. And that has to be in double quotes. Close the parentheses. There we go. Next, my data set that includes a category. So I'm going to put a category here for now and put that as A. Here equals filter. My array. Okay. Comma open parentheses to include C4 through C43 is greater than or equal to G3 close parentheses and open parentheses the same range C4 through C43 is less than or equal to G4 close parentheses, asterisk, open parentheses, now our category where D4 through D43 equal to G5. Close parentheses, comma, and if it's empty, then nobody. Close parentheses. Now I'm going to move these out of the way and then I got to show you something really critical. Pay attention. Equals if G5 equals empty comma P4. Right? That's the data set I want. If it's not empty, then U4. Close parentheses. Enter is only grabbing Lucy's name, but it's got the right data set. If I get rid of that A, then 
it's got Lucy instead of nobody, which means it's got the right data set. But it's not grabbing the entire data sets. What's missing? That pound sign. I'm going to put that in. P4. Watch this. Watch those lines. Pound sign. Now it's got the whole set. Go over to U4. Pound sign. Now we've got everything that we need. So now let's do this. 12 to 40. And we want people who are in group D. That's it. Now I can hide this back. Now if I want to know. 3 to 11. Group D. There's nobody. What about in group B? These two people, Graciela and Aaron. There it is. More filter logic in these dynamic arrays. An optional field for filtering. And now you know how to do it. And I got to go get a haircut and get my beard trimmed. All right. See y'all in the next video.